Hi everyone. Welcome to harshwardhanart.com. In this video you are going to learn how to professionally doze and burn in Photoshop. In the previous lecture we have learned how to do the high and skin retouching using the frequency separation technique. If you have not watched that video, go and check that out first. The link of that video is in the description section below. In this video we are going to learn the doze and burn technique and that would be the non-destructive way of dozing and burning. So let's get started. In the previous video we have done the high end skin retouching on this image. So let me show you this is the before image and this is after we have applied the high end skin retouching using the frequency separation technique and for that purpose we have used my free photoshop action called the skin retouching photoshop action which you can download absolutely free from the link in the description section below and now let's start the dosing and burning on this image so for this purpose i will show you Two ways number one is the destructive way of dosing and burning and second is the professional non-destructive way of dosing and burning so let me show you how we do it so first of all i will show you the destructive way of editing and for that purpose what we have to do we have to come over here on this tool this tool is called the dose tool and if you click and hold your mouse over it you will see this is the dose tool so we'll select this dose tool and from here we will select the exposure around 10 percent so it should be around 10 percent if you make it more than 10 percent then it's not going to give you the better result all right and now what people do they will start working on this image and start painting on the highlighted areas with the help of those tool and that's the destructive way of dosing and then they select the burn tool by clicking and hovering this mouse and burn tool and again for the burn tool as well exposure has to be around 10 percent and thereafter they paint on the shadow areas and that is called the destructive way of dosing and burning so let me show you the before and after and the problem with this method is that you cannot go back there is a certain limitation on the history which you can keep or the steps on which you can go back so for this purpose if i have to go back let me show you go to the windows and select the history option from here and history would be open and you can see i have the history so i'll just start with the this option all right so i have now undo what i have just done all right but the problem with this method is that there is a certain limitation that you cannot go beyond uh, particular steps at this moment we have hardly done anything on this image we have applied a uh, little bit of dose and little bit of burning on this image though we can go back to this history but sometimes it so happens that we want to go back to the original one and we have a limited states of history over here so for that purpose we have to use the technique which is called the non-destructive dosing and burning technique and for that purpose you can just create a duplicate copy of it by pressing ctrl j command j and then you can apply the dosing and burning on this layer but i'm going to show you one more advanced way of dosing and burning and that is using the curves adjustment so let me just undo it i no longer want that one and thereafter i have to go to the adjustments layer from here and select this curves adjustment and in the curves adjustment click in the middle and drag it down so that's going to be our burn layer and thereafter you need to come over here and select this layer blend mode of this curves adjustment to the luminosity and that way it's not going to affect the saturation and tone of the image and thereafter i need to press ctrl i command i and i'm going to rename it as burn and thereafter we'll create a duplicate copy of it by pressing ctrl j command j and this time we will click in this middle point which we have created and drag it upward so we'll just do it something like this at this moment you can notice it because the mask is the 
black so if you want to reveal what's going on press ctrl i and see that it has made the image much brighter all right so i'll just make it black by pressing ctrl i command i to invert it and i'm going to rename it as those all right so now we have to use our brush tool so we'll select the brush tool make sure you select the soft round brush and thereafter you need to select this opacity as 10 percent or if you are using the pen tablet or using the pen like me then you can use this brush which is all the soft round pressure opacity all right so what it does it basically you don't have to adjust the opacity from here time and again all you have to do just press a little bit harder and that's going to give the harder stroke but if you want the lighter stroke just press with the lighter hand so that's the benefit of graphic pen tablet and that's very useful for the portrait researching so if you want to check out some of these in the description you will find some of the recommended pen tablets which are very affordable and within budget so you can go ahead and check them out and if you want you can buy them so let me select the first burn layer so let me first select the burn layer and I would start painting on the shadow areas of the face. But if you have a hard time figuring out which area is the shadow and which area is the light, what you can do just click on the top and go to the adjustments layer from here and create a black and white adjustment layer and that's going to make the image black and white and now you can see where you where your highlights are and where your shadows are all right so now what you can do select the burn layer and choose the soft as pressure opacity brush if you're using the pen otherwise you can go for soft round brush with 10 percent opacity and make sure this foreground color is the white otherwise it's not going to affect anything because we are painting on the black mask and in order to reveal anything we have to paint with the white mask all right and now i will start painting on the shadow areas and the effect of this is very subtle you might not be able to see anything at this moment but yes it's affecting it and i will show you at the end what difference it has made so let me just quickly do this and come back and i am done with the burning and i will show you the result let me first turn off the black and white layer and that then i will just turn off this burn layer that would show you the result so this was before and this is after so you can see it has made the subtle effect and it has highlighted the shadows of this image even further created a little bit more depth and result would be more awesome when we will work on the doors tool so now select the doors layer and make sure you select the mask again make sure the foreground color is the white and opacity is 10 percent or you can use the if you are using the pen tablet you can use the soft round brush pressure opacity and turn on the black and white layer once again so that we can see where we are painting and start painting on the highlights so let me quickly do this and come back once again and you can see that i am done with the dosing as well so let me show you the result let me first turn off the black and white layer so that reveals the original image and now i am going to turn off the dose layer so if I turn this off and on, you can see this is before and this is after we have made the highlights even more prominent. And let me select both of these by pressing shift and press ctrl G command G to group them together. And I can rename it as dozen one, but I'm not going to do this. And if I show you the result of both the dozing and burning. So if I just turn this off, you can see this is the before and this is after. So you can see we have enhanced the facial details and enhanced the depth of the image in the portrait. If you are working on the fashion or the beauty image, the dosing and burning technique is a must. So this is how you can do the dosing and burning in a non-destructive way.
now i will show you how to use my photoshop action which will do everything just for you and you don't have to create all these layers and that would save you a lot more time so let me just turn this group off and so let me first delete all these layers and now i will go to the actions if it is not visible over here go to the windows and select the action that way it would be visible over here and then you need to click on this hamburger menu and select the load action and browse the doors and burn action wherever you have downloaded it so i have already installed it so i'm going to use this and this is the doors and burn option and i will click on this play button and that's going to play the doors and burn and you can see we need to press the stop and now over here you can see we have got the burn layer and doors layer and black and white layer as well so now all you have to do just paint over that and that's going to do everything just for you so that's going to save you a lot more time you can download this photoshop action absolutely free from the link in the description section below so thank you so much i hope you have enjoyed today's episode if you did hit the like button if you did not like the video hit the dislike button if you have any question or you want to say something leave that in the comment section below and if you have not subscribed to this channel please consider subscribing and please consider sharing this video with others so that they can also get benefit from this video so thank you so much bye bye see you in the next episode till then keep shooting and unleash the creative in you